Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the all new Element Cab Simulated Headphone Amp from Dark Glass. Dark Glass Electronics have always seemed to be at the forefront of technology and melding technology with amazing bass guitar tools, whether that be amplifiers or preamp pedals like the B7K, and the new Element Cab Simulated Headphone Amp is no exception. Now when you boil it down, the Element is a very, very cool bells and whistles heavy headphone amp that also has a lot of cool things or not a lot of cool things like knobs. There's no knobs on this thing. Now instead of knobs, you have three touch sliders. Now one of them controls headphone uh, output number one, the other on the far right controls headphone output number two, and then the middle slider is a blend because this is also a Bluetooth enabled device. So if you have your headphones in, you can connect something like your iPad and jam along to your favorite songs off of Spotify, for example, off your iPad, along when you're playing bass in, you know, the back of the bus, tour bus, or when you're at home in the bedroom and you wanna keep it quiet, but you still wanna get your jam time in. I love that, super cool. While the Element is not a load box like a Torpedo Live or something like that, you can put this in between a bass amp and a speaker cab and use this as a DI to a front of house if you don't already have a DI enabled amplifier. And you can also turn the cab sim on and off depending on whatever your situation is or what your front of house guy wants. This is also really, really cool. Common thread with dark glass stuff. So let's go ahead and see how some of the stock cab IRs sound in the element. I will be plugging straight into my Universal Audio Apollo interface and you will be hearing no post-processing of any kind. So let's hear some tones. All right, so I have my Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass Bass going into the Orange Bass Butler Bass Preamp straight into the Dark Glass Element. But for right now, we are going to check out the stock sounds that come in the element, starting with cabinet number one. low end on cabinet number three. And then if we want to just bypass the cabs altogether, we hit it uh, one more time. And then this is the direct sound coming out of the orange bass butler. Now I wanna reiterate the Dark Glass Suite software that is available on the Dark Glass website will be available by the time the Element releases so you can fine tune and tweak the individual cabinet uh, IRs that are on the Element. You're not stuck with these five tones. These are just simply the stock tones that come with the Element. You can load your own IRs, et cetera, et cetera. But at the time of this filming, 
it is not uh, ready for this version, the firmware version. So I am unable to show you guys how to exactly do that, but I just wanted to let you know that you can do that by the time the element comes out. Super cool, super awesome, uh, very simple, very effective and easy to use. I have really enjoyed playing with the element. And with that, you've been wonderful, I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch. And also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.